in a place called Monasteraki, which is a monastery, Monasteraki. Um, this is the, the church known as Monasteraki. It's a big, beautiful church. It's the, they just renovated the outside of it. The inside has all these wonderful, uh, you know, mosaics on the floor and stuff like that. Um, it's a big church. A lot of people know about it. A lot of people go to this church. Uh, Greeks all over the world know about this church. Um, but for the sake of uh, a jewelry story, um, this is not the church that we're going to talk about. Instead, we're going to talk about the little tiny one right next to it. It's obviously a very tiny little church, and all around the uh, Plaka and the Monasteraki, uh, you have little tiny churches like this. It's more like a sanctuary uh, than it is a church. Uh, here, we'll come take a look. Watch yourself. So back when the, uh, when the Ottomans occupied Greece, uh, they, they were of course uh, you know, Islamic, um, and uh, the Greeks didn't like being ruled by them. Uh, apparently sometimes it was a bit harsh. Uh, but one thing about the Ottomans were they were very uh, respectful of other people's religions. Uh, so when, uh, when, when Greeks needed to, to go into a church, um, you know, the Ottomans would, would leave them alone. You know, was, this was a place of peace. They wouldn't, they wouldn't mess around. They, you know, go ahead, go. Um, so if like you're a Greek and you're running around, maybe you're, you're being chased by uh, the Ottoman police or whatever, um, you could actually go into one of these little churches and they would have to leave you alone. Uh, so they're very respectful of that, uh, which is nice. <laughs> but uh, as a result, these little churches became very popular to, uh, to Greek design. Um, I'll, I'll show you a couple elements. Here. You'll see this right here. Uh, whenever you see a design, uh, any design that's repeating and that goes around and around uh, a large area, maybe it goes around a ring, maybe it goes around a bracelet, maybe it goes around a doorway, uh, it's called a meander. And the most popular type of meander that everybody knows about, or a lot of people know about, is called a Greek key. It's like goes around, it's very geometric and it goes around like that. <laughs> um, but there's other kinds of meanders too. There's, a, there's an Argonaut, which is like a little wave. Um, and then there's this guy, which is a rope. Uh, now, in this case, this rope uh, signifies uh, the beginning of the church. Uh, and for the Ottomans, that meant that if you were on this side of the rope, uh, that you know, you're in the church. You're in, you know, they're not gonna chase you, so to speak. Uh, but if you're on this side of the church, uh, of this meander, uh, then you're fair game. <laughs> um, so as long as, as if, if, if a Greek person felt like they were being chased, um, as long as they got to this side of the rope, uh, then, then they're okay, and certainly if they're inside the church as well. So this rope uh, comes to signify um, protection uh, from things, you know? Like if you see some of our Damascus pieces, you'll see that there's a rope border around the outside of it. Um, that's ultimately, the significance of that comes from this, what I'm standing on now, this, this, this floor. It signifies protection. Uh, some other elements of this uh, church. Uh, we have, uh, like, uh, I think Yero Christo's early repertoire, Spiro Yero Christo's uh, early repertoire. His, his father did other kinds of jewelry, and his, his father did it's always the same style, but um, some of Spiro's first designs were, uh, can, can be found right on the wall here. Um, so there's, here you see like a, a rosette right there. It's the second one. It's more or less a rosette. Um, there's a, a Maltese cross above the door. Uh, here we see um, uh, two griffins, and I think it's, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's two wolves underneath two griffins. Over here we have uh, more griffins. It's kind of a famous thing. They use it a lot. And these are all, these are all pieces. Uh, well, you had a crystal turn these into jewelry pieces. Video too. And we have, uh, I'm like balancing on it. Uh, up here at the top, we have uh, what, what we came to call a garden trellis. Um, this design to the left of the window. Uh, almost everything on here was turned into a piece of Yellow Crystal at some point in time. I wasn't sure about that eagle with whatever it's pulling. <laughs> but that, that guy right there. That design, the one way up there, the circle. Uh, 
and uh, even the, the crosses we have um, there's a there's three symbols above this that are all crosses the one on the left uh, uh, Spiro has that as a as a cross in his catalog so we'll try to show these as well some of them are like you know like uh, he had a crystal designs that are maybe 30 or 40 years old so they're not necessarily in the store all the time sometimes we put them in and uh, take them out um, some more pieces you'll notice again on the floor it's like the this uh this argon this meander this this rope goes all the way around it protects the entire place this is turned into earrings and uh, a charm for bracelets uh, that diamond shape right there another one over here now the, the corners of this one uh, would also be described as enthemion okay except uh, you can see how this is maybe the progenitor of uh, a fleur de lis it has more of a, a design that's going in that direction. You see different crosses along here? And there's a lot of different things that, that Greeks will call a cross. Um, obviously, uh, that one, you, you see a lot more um, like what we'll call an Eastern cross is where all the, all the arms are the same length. Again, you know, some of these pieces, the, this, this they call motif, will show up on, uh, on Yodokusto pieces this way it'll be like the border of a ring going around so you'll see that that whole thing so uh, this design right here uh, that's what we call garden gates this is uh, another yet crystal motif it's a neat spot so this the metropolis uh, metropoli uh, church next to it obviously very important a lot of people know about it but um, this one not so many people know about it, but now you know everything. <laughs>